here's another how-to video. So, working on the Baylor John Deere 535 model, and uh, this lift cylinder for the gate is leaking right here. So I had to take the pins off to remove it to get it rebuilt, and I'm struggling with getting this pin out. I tried everything. I mean, I even cut a groove, as you can see, and put a, 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 a something a, a, like a wedge and tried to push it, and it still would not come out. Um, there used to be a plate here um, that's welded to this thing. That came off. But anyways, I need to take this pin off. And uh, my idea was to <clears throat> weld. I got a welder set up weld uh, a nut like this in here weld inside here so i can twist it and uh, maybe grab onto it but then i thought well maybe there'd be another idea i found this washer right here that's pretty cool right so i can get a wrench on it and it has these grooves so what i'll do probably see if it's gonna work this is first time doing this is uh, take my uh, grinder and cut this metal, a notch it here and notch it here so I can fit this over and then weld it on inside here, weld it inside here, fit this over. Then I can put a wrench on it and turn it if I need to. And then I can put a wedge behind this washer and actually pry it back. So we'll see if it's gonna work. Uh, stay tuned, hopefully. Okay, I got the cylinder off. This is how many tools I had to use. So, I use this type of tool, it didn't help much. Um, the disc, this disc was able to cut the front pretty nicely in here. But the rest of it, the back one, I could not get to it. So I had to use the sawzall to do it. And using this type of blade, metal blade, I didn't do anything. It would not cut. This steel is tough. I had to use this type of blade. I found this blade. Um, it has some type of carbon type of edging to it. And actually, this cuts much better than the, uh, the metal. Here's another one, similar blade. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but you see how that's a little edge, different edge. Anyways, it's a pain, and you know what, to uh, to cut this. The backside is it's difficult. Um, the backside, I uh, just say good luck. They have better. If I had a if I had a, like a six inch disc that would fit in the back, it would be perfect. But my disc would not get far enough to cut the uh, blade, I mean the pin. And this is what it looks like now right here. You got one side and then the other side. See that now I got to knock it out. Kind of damaged the cylinder a little bit, but it should be okay. continue so yeah this is took me about two hours now so <clears throat> I was hammering this thing here it's not going anywhere you know okay I got the cylinders back rebuild I took it to the shop because I um, I done rebuilds before, and I wasn't really successful with it um, because the the one I did leaked again, so I had to take it to the professionals. So I got my cylinder back, um, painted. Um, this is the company I used out of Des Moines, right there. Um, did good job not too expensive um, and on this side they painted also 
I did a little bit more paint on it. I added, I have some uh, green John Deere paint, added some paint to it. But this, this is where I struggled with right here. If you remember, I cut it, cut the pin out because I couldn't get it out. Anyways, they managed to get this pin out. It was just wedged in there pretty good. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like inside. So yeah, the pin was stuck in there. Um, so yeah, this is the cylinder to the baler I was working on. I'm gonna put it back on the baler and see what happens. They said they tested the cylinder and it's not leaking and they give you warranty. Um, so there we go. And they put their sticker on here and they put their um number on here i don't know what this number is means whatnot but they added the number on there yeah looking good put little caps on the hydraulic hose connectors and this is another cylinder they they rebuilt this is to the tractor um this is a big boy um but yeah same company i put some paint on it some black paint on on the edge because they had to take this thing off and rebuild it but yeah this was leaking too actually this shaft might have been damaged um this shaft might have been bent i think they fixed it but yeah they tested it's not leaking so it's good we'll put it back on a tractor this is off the loader okay well hopefully this video helped um to actually see what this looks like inside here <laughs> yep yep so good i'm excited so i want to show you i got the cylinder back in um here's the pin that i'm gonna replace so right now i have a temporary um i have these john deere bolts for the wheels um that's what I'm going to use as a pin. And this is it right here. Um, there's this plate. I just welded the bolt on here. And uh, I'm going to replace that. Um, and that's bolted right down there. It's going to sit like this. Right there. It's going to work perfectly. Alright. And this is uh, the top. So that's what I'm trying to do here is, is that, yes, instead of buying a part, I mean, improvise. And here we go. I got some John Deere paint. I'm going to paint this and um, put it back in. So make sure the hydraulic hose connection, because uh, when they rebuild this thing, they messed with the hydraulic connection here they had it more down and so i had to pull it up because it would hit this bracket this hose would hit the bracket so we want to be mindful where you have that lined up and then um they had this one pointing towards me it has to point down because this hose is not long enough so just be mindful of of the location for um connections here but anyways um looking good so far might test it later today i'll see but yeah this is it this is the this is the new part i'm sure not approved by john deere but we'll see how that how long it lasts i just got a little well down here Okay, the new pin is in. Check it out. Check it out, looking good. What's nice about uh, this uh, bolt uh, from the wheel uh, hub is um, you got a gap in here, I guess. I just realized this, that in case you need to remove it again, you can actually have um, like a pry bar in here get some leverage to pull this thing out with this little gap yep see that bolt head and there's a gap that's perfect anyways hopefully you enjoy this video hopefully this video is helpful 
Good luck with your project, John Deere Projects.